No, don't touch that. That has spider mites. Oh, but this one has strips, so it's okay. Hey, what is going on? The temperature is overheating. Ooh, that's hot. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a plant room tour once again after almost a year. You all really like that, so we're gonna do this again, this time a little more higher quality. One thing to keep in mind is a lot of the plants that you were going to see are new, meaning a lot of plants you saw last year are not here. They're either A, dead, or B, they're outside in my outdoor greenhouses. I'm gonna do a full video on that by itself, so do not even worry about that. So today we're just gonna do this room. Let's start at the entrance, because this is what I did last time. Let's zoom in a little bit. So this is the first plant that you see when you walk into my room. This is an anthurium kukri, I think. As I can clearly see and feel, it is full of pests. I also have spider mites, thrips. I have some thirst form of pests that I don't even know what they are, but it's like, uh, it's like a surprise. I'm like, what pest am I killing today? Nobody knows. This is the first plant we've seen here. It is in a big pot of leka and it needs to be watered. But the leaves on this are honestly not very small. But this has gone through a lot, so honestly I forgive it. It's it's okay, trust me. We're gonna go right here. This here is my Monstera elbow. This is now overexposed. As you can maybe see, this leaf does have some like proper white on it. Unlike the rest of these that just have little bits and specks like this. Honestly, the amount of money I paid for this plant and what I have now it just makes me sad to think about, so I don't really think about this. I'm probably just gonna buy like a new cutting with a lot of irrigation because this is just not it. It has been growing up this pole. Also, uh, did you guess the pest? This one has thrips. You get nothing. As you can see from the back, the irrigation also is there. You, I don't know how much you can see realistically. You're pretty far away from me. We're just gonna put this right back here. Right behind the Monstera, there is also an Epipremnum aureum. This is an Epipremnum aureum. This is just like a pothos that I have grown in Leka, as we can see. Honestly, nothing crazy, but it has some quite nice white variegation. It has been giving me like a lot of white recently. Like, look at this. Look at this leaf. It's like very, very, very light. We have to move. <laughs> to this shelf first, because this has some very nice plants that I have to show you. So first of all, will be my other Monstera elbow. This one does have a little more white on the leaves than the other one, as you can see. But honestly, this one has been eaten by thrips even more than that one. So honestly, it's not, it's not doing the best. And it's been like this, like you see this, a Monstera elbow should not be looking like this. But it's like a little palm tree, and it looks dumb. Yeah, in the back here, we have a begonia that I almost killed, but it's okay. It has like little cute leaves. I had a similar one in the last tour, but this is a new plant that I also got later. Okay, in this really amazing and cute pot, oh, who made this? Oh, I did, in a video, and you can watch it. But this is a Monstera Elbow pot with an Alocasia Mellow. Oh my god. Please look at the texture on this plant. It's incredible. We're not gonna mind this ugly leaves. Like, look at this. Another pest. Did you guess it? No. Anyways, this is the nicest leaf that I have so far. Look how cute this is. So I just keep this here. One thing I do a lot. Oh my god. One thing I do a lot with Alocasias is like... I transfer them from soil into water because they rot in soil. So I just uh, give them water roots and then we have in water. Just, okay, yeah, just in water, just like that. So that's one fun thing that I do. Oh, next we have an absolute, absolute, absolute beauty. And I have to zoom out for this one because it's a little bit bigger. This right here, this is so pretty. Look at this. This is an Alocasia Silver Dragon. Sport variegated. You're not gonna see the variegation, but I promise you it is there. Let me hide myself. Look how pretty this this color. Oh my god. And it's also in Leka. Surprise, surprise. In McDonald's cup, of course. And then we have some little babies kind of growing out of there. Maybe you're not gonna see it. Anyways, it's a really like this plant. The color on this, oh my god. And I have grown this from like a very tiny, like it had leaves this big. 
And yeah, honestly, kind of incredible. I'm just gonna put this right back, okay? Don't mind me. Moving on slightly, we have this Philodendron Florida Ghost. These are some of its leaves, the older leaves. And I only had this one and then this one grow in my care. But like it is like a it's like actually a Florida. It's like a Florida ghost. So it's not just green. This is just my fault. I don't know why. But this one also got trips, but it also has some new roots that I did not see. Can you maybe show the roots? Yeah, I never saw that before. But that's really good because I probably have to repot this. Anyway, that's not a problem for today. A <laughs> fun fact. Uh, if you comment anything about this, oh, you're getting blocked. You're getting blocked. Then we have this little oh, battery running out. Oh my god. We have this alocasia something. Don't even know the name. But it's just in what these roots are just dead. These don't look okay. Oh well, this has just been staying like this in water for honestly, I can't remember, like a year. And it's just like a little something that I keep here. I just don't want it to die, you know? Why why would why would it die? Okay, then we have this variegated grass. Tell me why variegated grass is so pretty, but also people don't have it. Like, honestly, when I have a house and I have my own grass, it's just going to be like fully variegated grass. Look how pretty this is. Like, it's it's grass. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. It is grass, but it's variegated. How cool is that? Black velvet alocasia. Same story once again. In Lekka, in a little cup. But no, this leaf has actually been very cute. Look how... But look at the velvet, this is so pretty and velvety, oh my god. Okay, and in the back here, we have, oh, okay. We do have a little Epipremnum amplissimum green, that's just been a little cutting, I'm gonna show you later. And this is like a stolen aloe vera, but it's been stolen, it's been, eh, it's stolen from like a public place, okay? So like, this is not actually like someone's property, it was just like in like a park that I went on a trip and like I took it in like memory and it's still alive so it's okay says me let's put this right back and let's move on to another shelf right after i change this battery life because it's gonna die we're gonna move a little bit further up did you know batteries for this camera are like 60 euros each you should subscribe and give me some money you should subscribe so I get monetized on YouTube, so I can pay that back. I mean, just saying, like, it's fair, but okay. This light here, not good. Up here, we have an absolute gorgeous Epipremnum Amplissimum. So these are two plants, and I'm sorry for the light. I'm sorry about the light, I'm, I know, I know. But we have this in a very, like, tiny pot, considering the size of these plants. Oh, it's just like a rope. There is no, like, moss pole, no nothing. But look at how cute this plant, these are very long leaves, and I always say this, I have grown this entire plant from like leaves this big, these are cuttings, these are little cuttings, and this plant gets massive, like the leaves, they get like huge, like absolutely huge, so I'm just gonna, let me show you the rest, okay? In the back here, we have this stupid cup that I have toggled over like three times, and every single time the water spilled out on the floor loved it however this is a top cutting from a philodendron congo green that i have outside uh it's growing roots i think sure look i want to show you this leaf can i show you this thing? okay look this is not the like normal shape for this plant the normal shape is like this this one is like a very thin like very demure, very mindful. Like delicate. I don't know why, but I'm keeping this here so like I can kind of hide it because it's like not very pretty, but it's also like I don't want to throw it away. Like it's fine. It's fine. Okay, maybe you remember I had a, a, like a big Adansonia eye. Well, these are the top cuts. Just gonna, just gonna, just gonna zoom in. These are the top cuts. As you can see, nothing crazy. They have just been in this glass of water. Eh. I have multiple of these plants, none of which are doing the best. This is what I kept in my room as like a little, I don't know, like a little bouquet or something. 
Like, you can buy a bouquet of flowers for probably the same amount of money and just they're gonna die in like a week. You can have this for like months and months if like you give them some nutrients probably like even in water, it's gonna be fine. Let's move on to this, you can already see it. So I'm just, I'm not gonna stop you any longer. There we go, so this is my big Anthurium Crystallinum. Definitely not doing this justice. Huge Crystallinum was a gift. This new leaf uh, has grown in my care. Look, look, look. This leaf has been grown by me and it's also flowered in my care, which I'm gonna try to show you the flower, but realistically, can you see it? Mm. As we can see, the leaves on this thing are incredibly massive, huge. We're gonna come a little bit closer, so as you can see here, like a little leaf tip, like this. This is like brown, not doing the best, probably because of the perlite, but I'm too afraid to repot it right now because it, it has a bloom and the new leaf. So this is the big stem. I can't wait for that. This is my first interior flower, so that's really cool. And then the newest leaf. Oh my god. The best part, there is thrips on here. I'm probably just gonna wait for the leaf to harden off and I'm just gonna repot it, but I don't know. Then we have another crazy interior that I really, really love. And this was also a gift from the same person. Incredible. This is an anterior Bitterfolium, ah! purely for like the size of this. Look how massive this is, it's like hair. I love to show this beautiful hair. It's in a plastic container with leca on the bottom and some moss on top. This is still wet, which is really good. And this leaf was grown by me. Um, and this one was, no, this is the leaf before it. We can see a little difference, like a little tiny difference. Look at how gorgeous this plant is. I think you need one of these if you don't have it. They can grow even, like, they can grow way longer than this, realistically, okay? Just not in my care because thrips are gonna eat it at some point. Let me zoom you in. This needs a special mention. This was made by a friend. This is handmade for my birthday. Absolutely incredible. Oh my god. This is from, like, clay or something like that absolutely crazy and i love how beautiful this as you can see it's like variegated oh my god so cute and in the back there we have a little experiment so this was just a little pineapple honestly it's alive i don't know how uh, these roots really bad but i should water that moving on up here up here look okay look at this look at this this is all one plant. Don't throw anything on the floor, thank you. My god. This is my Philodendron Plumanii with the leaves of this size. I have grown a single leaf in my care and it's this one, which yes, I know it's ripped, but it's also not small, which is a really good sign and I have repotted before this leaf came out. So this has all this way to keep growing so this is oh you can't see it okay never mind this is the plant and then it has all this space to go okay this is heavy this is very heavy no don't touch that that has spider mites oh but this one has strips so it's okay right, do they cancel out no they just multiply in the back here we have some cuttings of this philodendron narrow Oh my god, but this plant was really, really pretty. Like, realistically, this was really big and beautiful, but it had thrips, so it does have, like, some roots here and there. Let me show you the mother plant, so I'm gonna show you the pot. Oh, it's so cute! This is the mother plant. As you can see, tiny, tiny, but all of these leaves were growing on top of this. And yeah, no, I don't, like, this one has not had thrips yet. At least I'm hoping it's not gonna have thrips. Because then I did what I had to to get rid of them. And if they get thrips, then I have to cut it again. Because, ugh, do not comment like, oh, just spritz it with neem oil. No, it's not that easy, okay? Oh my, this is heavier. This is my philodendron splendid. You can see the leaves of the splendid right on here, mixed with a medium. medium green. It's grown on the same pole, and these are the big splendid leaves. We have this one on top here. It's really hard to show you, I'm so sorry. But this is the Amidrium 
Can you see the hole? Like this is really pretty. It's like a little monstera, but it's the texture is different and I, I do like it. I didn't think I would like it, but I do like it. This is like my little bel velvet corner. We can see a Philodendron Melanochrysum, which uh, is it still my favorite plant? Honestly, after everything that has happened, I don't know about that. A Philodendron Melanochrysum with thrips. Then we have an El Choco Red that is also not doing incredibly well. And surprise, this one also has thrips. Who would have thought? And then we also have another velvet plant. This is the Alocasia Frydeck, Michaeliziana, whatever. It looks good if you look from afar. But then, I don't know how much you're gonna be able to like see, but there's definitely like a bunch of like dots on it. And this is from probably spider mites. I don't know, I still haven't seen them. And this is a pot of my Philodendron Melanoprysum, another one. Yes, it's the same plant as this one in the back. A new shoot right here, a video will come out on that at some point. Honestly, this has just been a really sad journey to see this plant kind of just decline. So this is still the Melanoprysum pole. It, there is like a little wire here so it doesn't topple over. But then we have this uh, Tradescantias. These Tradescantias were my first houseplant, I think. Or the second one and uh, they just break off like this so it's not a crazy like incredible plant but it's like a plant that i just like to keep in water because i don't know i just do i just keep it up here for for the looks it's it's cute because it goes down like this then we have the oh wow i don't remember this is the skindapsis pictus argyreus but it's a little bit dehydrated and i keep it on this little this trellis, okay. Oh, oh, you're gonna love these. <laughs> these are my Alocasia's green dragons. Like, it's cool, but surprise, it's also been growing in water because, why? Oh, I depotted them because they weren't doing well and it has no roots, so that's amazing. Up here we also have, and this one, honestly, I'm not gonna complain. This is a pretty one. This is my asparagus fern. Look how cute this is and like, it's like a little tree and I just keep it in this. I don't know why I show you that, but look at, look at the roots. Like the roots are doing fine if you ask me. What is going on? The temperature is overheating. Ooh, that's hot. We're gonna show you this another skindapsis that I have in Lekka this time. So this one is also fun. Just keep it in this. ASMR class ball for ASMR. Very cute. Very demure. Very mindful. I'm gonna beat someone's ass if they say that one more time. Oh my god. And a little. Okay. Oh my god. Who does this? Okay, we're just gonna keep the outside very bright. Okay. So these are my inner greenhouse boxes. Down here. Shine bright like a diamond Shine bright like a diamond The Philodendron Tortum Okay, and I'm gonna let you guess the pest Okay, three, two, one It strips It strips and it's everywhere But I have grown like these upper few leaves myself and the rest were already bought but look how beautiful realistically these these leaves are pretty big how beautiful would this plant be if there wouldn't be thrips all over it i can't wait to chop this up and propagate it because oh my god it's annoying so in the back here we have like a little stool and i keep my variegated piece lily on here oh this is so unprofessional this is not professional at all. This is my variegated peace lily. Beautiful gift from my mom, but it is not having the best time. I should probably repot it, but I'm scared it's gonna die. I'm so scared. Okay, in the back we have a fun little plant that you have not seen before, like ever. This is a ginger plant. This ginger plant is really, really tall, and this grows really quickly, so you can grow this yourself if you want. You just take like a ginger root and you put it in water, not not in water, I put it in perlite and the leaves 
they smell like ginger so that's honestly a win because this is so cool and green just like put some gingers around and last on here we have like a little, a little terrarium it's gonna bring to the front with this little necklace that I made out of um like a, like, like a little bottle and there's like moss in here oh so cute <gasps> last but definitely definitely not least on this shelf we have Oh, 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 get it up for Philodendron Orange Princess. I'm gonna show you the video over this because I touched a bunch of pests right now. This thing is worth a lot of money currently. I can't tell you how much because I'm not selling it. Do not ask me for cuttings because I'm not gonna ship anywhere. But this is so cute. You're gonna see the newest leaf is actually variegated, which is so, so cool. And this was a variegation sport that I found and I did not pay for the amount of money that I should have paid for but I'm very happy about that I am so so sorry that after a whole year this is the best I could come up come up with this video was chaotic this video was messy but I think it's gonna do just fine and I will see you in the next one this is the videos that you should watch next and I will see you Goodbye. You should subscribe and give me some money. These don't look okay. Oh well, this stupid cup. Honestly, kind of like the energy.